an update now on Hurricane Irma. Tonight, American Airlines said it will resume limited operations tomorrow night at Miami's airport now that the monster hurricane has passed through that city. The 600-kilometer-wide storm hit the southern tip of Florida this morning, flooding Miami streets, toppling cranes, and spawning tornadoes. More than 3 million homes and businesses are now without power. Irma spent the day marching up Florida's Gulf Coast. It battered Naples this afternoon as a Category 2 hurricane. Tonight, Tampa is taking a hit, but it is the storm surge that comes behind Irma's winds that are the big concern now, and that's expected to hit Tampa right around high tide early tomorrow morning. With more on what is yet to come, let's bring in CBC meteorologist Colette Kennedy. Colette, as I mentioned, the storm downrated again, now Category 2. How much of a punch does Irma have left? Well, Heather, still quite a punch, and you mentioned that storm surge. That's right. For Tampa, through the overnight hours, that storm surge may be as much as two meters, possibly approaching three meters in some cases there along that west coast. Now, in terms of the strength, through the overnight hours, it will weaken. Still a hurricane, Category 1, though, once the winds drop below 154 kilometers an hour, it then becomes a Category 1. From there, as it continues north-northwest, as it drops below 119 kilometers an hour, which it will do as it reaches towards the Florida-Georgia line. That's when it loses its status as a hurricane. And then after that, I know we've got lots of folks at home here in Canada wondering what's the impact going to be, Ontario being the province in the most direct line. But look how slowly this is going to move. Even by 1 p.m. on Thursday, losing its tropical properties, but it's still just down here in the Ohio Valley. So if we look at the projections for rainfall, yes, very heavy rains. This is bad news in terms of the accumulations and flooding risks into the southeastern U.S. because it is going to be moving so slowly and it is all that juicy tropical moisture. But up towards Ontario, Wednesday night into Thursday, perhaps some light showers moving in associated with this, probably those dew points going up and it getting a little bit humid as well, but not even really reaching towards the Ottawa Valley. And by the way, Atlantic Canada has been seeing some heavy rains lately. That's tropical from the Gulf, but it's not actually a moisture stream that's associated with Hurricane Irma. Okay, Colette, thank you very much. And that is the National for this Sunday night for news on Irma.